Did you ever check out the imports section on PlayStation Underground demos? They included an assortment of Japanese games that sometimes later ended up getting Western releases, but often didn't. The titles picked were generally ones that stood out from the usual sort of games that were being localized at the time, such as the Restaurant Simulator, Ore no Ryori, or the giant robot simulator, Remote Control Dandy. For a lot of people, this may have been their first taste of Japanese gaming. In fact, it was through this section that I learned that many games originated in Japan. Despite the difficult to navigate menus, a lot of these, including the two I mentioned previously, I ended up playing quite a bit. One of the first titles that really caught my attention at a young age was a fairly odd one, Gangway Monsters. Likely taking cues from the success of Pokemon, the game has you training, upgrading, and battling monsters. How do they battle? On spinning tops, of course. You may be thinking, oh, so it's not just Pokemon, but Beyblade too. But actually, the game predated Beyblade by a year. Well, not that battling tops was a super new idea or anything. And man, for being a battling tops game, they sure do make this overly epic. Not that I dislike that. But yeah, possibly because of the Pokemon similarities, and the fact that PlayStation didn't have its own Pokemon game, I replayed the game's demo over and over again. Well, after years of only being available in Japanese, an English patch for Gangway Monsters was eventually released. So I decided to dust off the old nostalgia goggles and give it a try. Before we look more at the game, here's a copy of the original Japanese release. One thing of note, it is a first-party Sony game, but instead of being put out by the usual Sony Computer Entertainment Japan, it was put out by Sony Music Entertainment Japan. Here's their logo. If you look in the manual, you'll see that they go out of their way to mention that the ending credits song is by group Pam and Pat. Interesting. However, this branch of Sony is not exactly irrelevant or just there for promoting music. They also put out the Japanese versions of the Tenchu games. That said, let's take a look at Gangway Monsters. It's kind of funny, for a game I never actually owned, playing this game took me back so hard. Seeing the intro animation and hearing the various music during the menus and battles, it totally unlocked something in my brain. In case you're wondering how the battles work, they involve spinning around an arena, ramming into your opponent while filling up a bar, which you use to unleash a special attack, which is the only way to deal damage. Landing these attacks is crucial to winning. Of course, what's equally crucial is strategically upgrading your monsters. You could spend all your money and have one all-powerful monster while everyone else kind of sucks, or make everyone even for the same price. The latter strategy is ideal since, in this game, the best 2 out of 3 wins. Regardless, these battles can get pretty intense. I could see it getting old after a while, but it's fun if you're going to play in short bursts. The monsters are, well, a bit generic. They're mostly pretty simple looking, with nothing super defining about most of them, aside from this weird shaped head one. It's definitely saying something when the one that stands out the most is just Frankenstein. But you know what? I like them. Anyway, the game is extremely Japanese, which may be a big part of why it wasn't released abroad. Between battles, the game is very menu driven. In fact, maybe a bit too menu driven. It basically plays like a visual novel, with no cutscenes as far as I can tell after the intro. Just reading and reading what your friends and opponents have to say. Actually, here's where you may start noticing an issue with this English translation. Don't win the game if you can't fall. That? You have a runny nose. Oh no! Just kidding. Ha 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 ha. Seriously, what the hell is going on here? Something is really off. It's not just that either. A lot of the menu is still in Japanese. Luckily, it is English written in Japanese. For example, this says Battle, Setting, Status, Shop, World Map. And not the Japanese equivalent of those words, it literally says them in English, 
just written in Japanese characters. So, yeah, if you happen to know how to read katakana, you'll be fine. But that's a lot to ask, and it kind of defeats the purpose of having an English translation. You may have guessed by now that the patch was made using Google Translate or some other translation software. And, well, you are right. While it is possible to get the general gist of what's going on, a lot of the dialogue is almost indecipherable. Of course, this does lead to some unintentional comedy, like the exchange I read before, or this one. It's not great. Good luck! Okay. Or there's this one. It seems to do as it is. Not yet. Right. Also, some of the characters' names aren't even fully translated, like this guy. You might also be thinking that the game saying, Oh my god! when you lose is part of the translation as well, but that's actually always been there. Okay, I kinda love that. One last thing I should probably mention. Unlike a lot of PlayStation Underground import demos, the demo to Gangway Monsters actually was translated into English. Maybe Sony was expecting more to come out of it. If you compare this official translation to the one from the fan translation, yeah, it's definitely much more legit. Plus, you can actually get a grasp of the game's story out of it. It's obvious this sketchy translation was a starting point that was meant to be built upon but after two years with no updates, it's fair to say it's dead in the water. You know, I can't blame the person or people who made it. It's not like making something like this is easy, especially since, you know, they're not getting paid for this. It looks like it just didn't work out with this one. Now, if someone went ahead and made a more thorough translation, that is something I would definitely like to see. I'm sure I'm not the only English speaker who played the import demo to this more than a few times back in the day. Still, in the meantime, this is certainly better than nothing. If you remember playing the Gangway Monsters demo, you might want to check the translation out. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to subscribe to see more in the future when I plan to review more English translated games such as the PS1 mech simulator Remote Control Dandy. Hey, you might even like some of my other stuff too. Anyway, with that said, thanks for watching The Legend of Games.